Hello and happy belated Thanksgiving out there in football land. It's your host, Sonya Anderson. Yes, I know I've been MIA. It's been a lot of stuff going on this year, this season with me personally. And so I have been unable to broadcast our show. But here we are for a almost postseason edition of All Things Football from a Lady's Perspective. Please feel free to share this channel with those you know who love the game of the NFL. This is going to be a brief condensed show, but I do want to come in and check in just to let you all know I'm still following the NFL. I just haven't been on here, but just wanted to come on and get a couple little comments going here about our impending postseason, who we think is going to make the playoffs, who we think is going to go all the way for that big jewel, the Super Bowl, which will be held next February in Atlanta, Georgia. Now that the season is past the halfway mark. We have several solid contenders, including a sneaky surprise, the Chicago Bears, who top their division at 7-3. and three. Now, that is a shock. I think, personally, the big trade from Khalil Mack from the Oakland Raiders to the Chicago Bears, who are also always known as a defensive team, played a key part in the Bears propelling themselves to the front of that division. And right now, they are two to three games ahead of Minnesota and um, Green Bay as well. So they are very much at the top, sitting nice and pretty. In the NFC East division, the Washington Redskins were sitting at the top of their division, but once they played the Dallas Cowboys on Thanksgiving night, they are now tied for the NFC East. So we counted the Cowboys out because they started off a little sluggish, but looks like they're turning things around. And um, maybe Mr. Garrett's job won't be on the line when the season is over, as reported by some outlets that people are kind of looking towards Black Monday. Now, who we all know are dynamite. The New Orleans Saints, atop of the NFC South, four games ahead of the Carolina Panthers, six Seven games ahead of the Atlanta Falcons, who they gobbled up on Thanksgiving night. The Falcons are definitely one of those teams who are not even a contender for the playoffs. Um, their game, their win streak just completely flipped. Um, not sure what's going on down there, but the Carolina Panthers are in second place in that division and are contender for the wild card, as are the Seattle Seahawks. And ironically, the Seahawks and the Carolina Panthers match up on tomorrow down in Charlotte. Now, the New Orleans Saints will most likely claim the division because they are so far ahead of everyone else in that division, and they are 10-1, only having lost to Tampa Bay in week number three. And the rest of their season seems like it's very winnable, with the exception being December 23rd in their matchup against the Pittsburgh Steelers, who have been dynamite for the AFC. So my predictions for the Super Bowl for the AFC teams are Kansas City and Pittsburgh Steelers for the AFC and the New Orleans Saints, Chicago Bears for the NFC. Yes, I said the Bears over the LA Rams because we know defense wins championships. And the LA Rams have slowed their pace quite a bit since they suffered their loss of New Orleans a couple of weeks back. That was their only loss. Now, they have since defeated Kansas City. Um, in that matchup. But again, it's a little early. The Patriots, I don't think they're going this year. They lost to the Titans. I know they do that every year or they lose to Jacksonville. But I just don't see that burn and that offense and that high-powered scoring that we see with the Patriots. I see that in New Orleans. The irony is the Super Bowls here in Atlanta in Mercedes-Benz Stadium. New Orleans has their own Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And they're the number one division rivals of the Atlanta Falcons. So we'll stay tuned to that. Now, let me tell you guys a little bit about Chicago. Chase Daniel substituted for Mitch Trubisky the other night on Thanksgiving night and had a dynamite game. This is only his third start, even though he has nine years in the NFL. He shadowed Drew Brees for many years and never got a start while with New Orleans. However, with Chicago, this was his first time to be able to start behind Trubisky, who was suffering from a shoulder injury, and he propelled the Bears over the Lions on Thanksgiving night in Detroit. Now that in itself is a feat. We're going to be looking at several other teams who we may find out they come up later on. The Titans are not to be slept on. I've already mentioned Jacksonville 
And um, sad news in the NFL today, Texans owner has passed away. Um, so that organization has a loss as well as there's some key injuries. Now, um, the Redskins, two notes. Let me go back to them real quick. They did lose their quarterback to a very bad leg injury that was akin to a previous injury from another player from that team from 33 years back. So um, Alex Smith is out for the rest of the year. They're looking at their backup quarterback. Um, a lot of injuries this time of year. Um, as far as my Panthers, I have no words. I absolutely love them. But the last two games they've played, to me, they just didn't play with the attitude that they wanted to win this game. And at this time of the season in our schedule, you have to know that you want to win. It's like make or break. Like your season could be over so quick. So right now we are standing at six and four. Um, I'm pretty sure we can win the rest of our games. We do face New Orleans two of those remaining games, two times. But um, I'm very optimistic that we can win one of those games at least. I'm optimistic we can win both of them, but we'll see. Um, but I'm tuning in just to let you guys know a little bit of the NFL news just going on, just checking in. I'll be back on here in a few days. And I hope everyone and their family enjoys their holiday season.